lights, camera, action, and cue the roaring T-Rex from our favorite blockbusters. But wait a minute, how accurate are these cinematic giants to their real-life prehistoric counterparts? Let's dive into the world of dinosaurs on the big screen and discern fact from flamboyant fiction. First off, that iconic T-Rex roar. Sorry to break it to you, but it's probably more Hollywood than history. Real T-Rex vocalizations might have been more akin to deep, resonating rumbles. Less lion, more oversized pigeon. Speaking of T-Rex, those puny arms are often a laughing point, but they were likely incredibly strong and used for precise tasks, not flailing around comically. On to the Velociraptors. Remember those scaly, human-sized monsters? In reality, they were feathered and about the size of turkeys. So, less terrifying beast and more aggressive Thanksgiving dinner. Movie pterosaurs snatching humans off the ground? Highly improbable. They weren't built to carry off something as large and wriggly as a human. And while we're airborne, let's clear up. Pterosaurs aren't dinosaurs. They're flying reptiles. So next time someone says, look, a flying dinosaur, you can kindly correct them. A Spinosaurus swimming elegantly in the water in pursuit of prey? Now that's closer to the truth. Recent evidence suggests they were semi-aquatic. So, Jaws meet your match! Dinosaurs in movies often roar before attacking, but in reality, they might have stalked silently, much like a lion or tiger. Surprise was the key. You remember those epic Triceratops charges? Well, they were more likely to walk leisurely, saving energy rather than stampeding every few minutes. Ah, the Brachiosaurus always depicted munching treetops. But guess what? They might have also fed on ground-level vegetation, not just the high-altitude salads. What about the colors we see on screen? It's purely guesswork. Although some fossils hint at color patterns, we can't be certain they match the actual colors of the dinosaurs. That dramatic scene with a meteor ending the dino era? Mostly accurate. A significant climate shift, possibly from a massive asteroid, likely played a role in their demisode. And while we love a good dinoverse, Dino Battle Royale, not all species existed simultaneously. T Rex and Stegosaurus, for instance, were separated by millions of years. A Dilophosaurus with a frill and spitting venom? Sorry, Spielberg fans, it's pure fiction. But admit it, it made for a memorable scene. Movie raptors opening doors? Clever girls indeed. Uh, but there's no evidence to suggest they were locksmiths on the side. Dinosaurs roaring in pain when injured? Sound effects aside, we don't really know what sounds they make, if any, when hurt. Babe Dinos hatching and imprinting on the first human they see. A lovely thought, but that probably followed the patterns of modern birds and reptiles. Gigantic aquatic reptiles like Mosasaurus lapping out of the wheat there to snatch prey. Dramatic, but their hunting techniques are still up for debate. You often see dense jungles as the backdrop in Dino films. While many did live in forested areas, others roamed open plains, deserts, and even polar regions. Those dramatic, synchronized herds moving together. It's possible some species did move in groups, but it's doubtful they choreographed their steps to a beat. Dinosaurs flipping cars and causing havoc in cities? Entertaining, but unless we have a time travel mishap, it's purely cinematic fantasy. Many films show dinos with dragon-like reptilian eyes. In reality, their eyes might have been bird-like with round pupils, not menacing slits. Let's address the massive, ground-shaking steps. Some, like T-Rex, were heavy, but they probably moved more gracefully than depicted. Lastly, the touching human dino bonds we adore on screen. While heartwarming, it's doubtful we'd have trained raptors or pet T-Rex. In conclusion, while films take creative liberties, they do spark interest and wonder about these magnificent beasts. So next time you're munching popcorn, enjoy the spectacle, but remember to take it with a grain of prehistoric salt. After all, movies are about entertainment, and if they encourage us to learn more about the real prehistoric world, then they've done their job. Don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more great videos like this one.